Hi everyone, Miss Terry here. We're gonna do a job like we might normally do in my classroom. Some of you haven't been there yet. For some of you, it's been a really long time. But in our classroom, we do lots of sorting jobs. We put things into groups. And we do a lot of those kinds of jobs when you come to see Miss Terry. We're gonna do that right now together in a little bit of a different way. Let me show you what we have here. Up here it says transportation. That means in this shape here, it's kind of like a puzzle piece. In this green area right here, um, we're gonna be putting things that you can be transported in. That means things you can ride on, things that go, things that move, that you can um, get into or onto and move somewhere else. So things like bikes and trains and cars and boats, things like that, things we can ride, will go here under transportation in this green area. Now, you'll see in the middle, we have something that looks like a, an, a figure eight or a peanut maybe. And you can see that the line around it is pink. It says animals. And right here we have a giraffe. What do you think we're gonna be putting in here? Things that are animals. So we're gonna put in different kinds of animals. Some might be flying animals, some might be walking and running animals, some might be animals that hop. We don't know yet, but these are things that need to be fed food and water. Um, they can move, they have babies. Um, those are the things that will go in the center. Now up here, we have a red line around this area and it says clothing. You can see a pair of pajamas here. So in here, we're gonna put clothing, things we can wear. So things we can ride, things we can wear on our bodies and animals. Let's check this one out down here. So in this area that has orange all the way around it, in there, we're gonna be putting food. It says food, so things we can eat. This little girl is eating ice cream. That would go here. It's something we can eat. And last, in this area that has blue all the way around it, it says around the home. This is somebody's home. So here we're gonna put things that would go in a home or a house. Some of you might live in an apartment or a condo or something else that might not look like this, um, but the place where you live, your home. So things that would go in your home where you live. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna pick one. I'm gonna pick something from my red bowl. Hmm, oh, what is this? This is something you can turn on to give you light. Do you know what that is? It's called a lamp. L is for lamp. We'll be learning about L next week. So is a lamp something that we eat or something that goes in our home? It's something that goes in our home. This is something with feathers and it says, oh, my cat looked at that noise. <laughs> Where would I put the chicken? Is it something we wear or is it an animal? It's an animal, I'll put it here. Oops, that one didn't stick very well. Oh, a pair of jeans. That's something that we wear on our bodies. Where do I put something that you can wear? A pea. Oh, mmm, I like this. I had some of this last weekend. That's called pizza. That's something that you eat. Things we eat go here. Oh, this is something that you can ride on. This is called a 
motorcycle. That goes with things you can ride. Hmm. What's this one? Oops. This one is a car. That's something we can ride. Oh, this is something that you might be watching me on right now. Or you might be watching me on a computer or an iPad or something like that. Um, but this is called a TV. That's something in your home. How about that one? It's a bed. Is that something we eat or something that goes in our home? It goes in our home. Oh, these go on our feet. These are called shoes. Shoes are something that we wear. Ooh, I like these. These are called grapes. And grapes are something that we can eat. Ooh, this is a cookie. A cookie is something we can eat. A chair. A chair is something that goes in the house, in our homes. Mm, what is this one? It's a fire truck. A fire truck is something you can ride in. Now, we probably wouldn't ride in it. Probably the firefighters would. Oh, this is something that lives on a farm. It's called a cow. A cow is an animal. This is a zebra. A zebra is an animal. This is a, a horse. A horse is an animal. School bus. A school bus is something you can ride on. A couch. A couch is something that goes in your home. A helicopter. A helicopter is something that you can ride, ride in. Have you ever ridden in a helicopter? I have not. This is a it's a hat or a cap. It's something that you can wear. Th these are, this is a pair of socks. That's something we can wear. This is a coat. This is something we can wear. This is a, whoops, a daisy. <laughs> this is an apple. An apple is something we can eat. This is corn. A corn is something we can eat. These are peas. Peas are something we can eat. This is a, a shirt. A shirt is something we can wear. This is a bathing suit. That's something we can wear. And this is a 
cat. This is an animal. We did it. We did all of the pictures, all of the magnets. Now the bowl is empty. Thank you for doing some sorting with me. You can do sorting activities at home with your family. You can use different containers, like different colored bowls, and you can put, you can sort things. You can put all of your cars in one and put all of your um, Lego pieces in another. You could put um, crayons in one, and you could put pieces of paper in another one. There's all kinds of things that you can sort. Um, so think about things you could sort. Laundry. You could even sort laundry. You could put socks in one box and you could put shirts in another box. You could do all kinds of things. You could even put them right in the drawers. Socks in one drawer, pants in another drawer. Sorting is a wonderful thing you could do at home. So see if you can think of another thing you can do this week where you're doing some sorting with your grown-ups. All right, have a great rest of the day. I'll see you later.